Well, nanotechnology has been uh, around by now for many years now. All the computers that you use and the cell phones that you use have nanotechnologies inside. So the, as we heard this morning, you know, all the revolutions in information technology and communications technology are basically have their underpinnings and hardware underpinnings in nanotechnology today. And going forward, it will be even more important to provide this hardware capability to continue to, uh, these uh, extensions of information technology. Beyond that, uh, there is a lot of uh, other applications that uses the basic technology and expand into other areas such as healthcare and biomedical research, environment, protection of the environment, and uh, alternative energies such as solar cells and batteries and so on. Those are all of uh, founded upon many of the innovations in nanotechnology. It is complementary in many ways. Um, we work on very similar topics, but we have complementary skills. Let me give you an example. Um, several years ago, uh, I have been work involved with uh, doing research in nanoscale memory technologies. And to understand these memory technologies, uh, we, we, there is a very, very useful technique in which we measure the noise of these uh, devices, electronic devices. And um, the researchers in the IMAP, in IMPG, and has been a leader in measurement of these noises. And so my student uh, and I have come to IMPG to learn how to do these measurements. And together we have uh, published quite a few interesting work in this uh, field. And so this is just but one example of these kinds of research.